my cat, Lady Medora Byron, is obsessed with temptations. They are her favourite cat treat. So when I found out that Scaredy Cat first of all existed, and then that it was from Temptations Cat Treats, I was very excited to watch this. And I have to say, it's incredibly atmospheric. It's, well, on Letterboxd, the description is uh, the world's first horror movie for cats, which immediately piqued my interest. And I thought, okay, let's check this out. And I have to say, it is very creepy and very well done. It's a three or four minute short released in 2020, and we follow this cat as it moves around its house and interacts with various creepy things. <laughs> and there are certain things that are um, scary for humans, definitely. And there are some things that cats are notoriously afraid of that feature in this quite abundantly. And I won't spoil it by saying what that is. Feel free to have a guess before you watch the film. But I, I found it to be uh, rather good fun. I love horror films. I'm a big, big horror fan and a uh, big cat fan, obviously. And I just thought it was three or four really fun minutes. And I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Very atmospheric, very well shot. A lot of it were following the cat around, but sometimes we are... Um, looking from the perspective of the cat, which uh, I think was a nice mix. When before I started watching it, I kind of assumed that it was completely from the perspective of the cat. But being a cat fan, I like the fact that we get to see the cat. And a lot of it, of course, is we're on the ground looking up from the cat's angle, from the cat's viewpoint, which is quite a unique perspective in a horror film. And I really thoroughly enjoyed it. If you're a cat person, I think you'll love Scaredy Cat particularly if you're a horror fan. I did not show it to my cat because I don't want to scare her, um, but I think the noise in it would kind of make her ears prick up. She wasn't in the room when I watched it, um, but there are some quite high pitched sounds in it. Not not loads, but some. And my cat, uh, like a lot of cats, doesn't like particularly high pitched sounds. So I think that that would work very well. But either way, I thought it was a, a fun concept, a nice fun little four, three or four minutes short and definitely something that's worth checking out.